winning, how does it feel? I mean, you've got to get that sort of feeling back, I suppose. Yeah, it's, um, it's always a great feeling, isn't it, when you're winning? Um, and tonight was... You know, even even better because it was such a tough game tonight. Um, you know, and the boys um, stuck to the way we wanted to play, and they really dug in and and you know grinded out that you know a one nil result in the end. Um, so very happy for the playing group. They you know have worked extremely hard the last few weeks. Um, even though we haven't got the results we wanted, um, and they've stuck they've stuck to their task. And tonight we got we got the three points. I thought the goal was. The best team goal I've seen this season. How, how did you see it? Yeah, look, it, it was, um, you know, we finally got one. That's our high score at, at the time. It was um, getting um, a little bit, bit frustrated because they, you know, they came and defended very well, made it very difficult for us. And as you said, we had some good moments. Um, and we just didn't have, you know, I suppose it's been the story since I've been here that at times we just don't reward ourselves when we're playing well. And to get that goal right on half time, it was it was great. So the boys came in, you know, um, with that belief in that what we were doing was correct. They haven't got much time. I, I think their game's still on Tuesday against <laughs> Sydney. Yeah, hopefully. Um, you know, they have so much rain over there at the moment. Um, you, you'd hope, um, you know, hopefully their game goes ahead tomorrow. Um, so they um, aren't as fresh. <laughs> For Tuesday night, um, you know, because that's going to be a big game. Tuesday night, um, you know, Sydney, you know, they've been one of the benchmark teams for the last, you know, five, six years. So um, um, it's going to be, you know, take all of our effort to to get the points. Then, do you think this could be finals sort of defining for you? I mean, if if you get oh. the three points, you, you, you're home. If you don't, you're still in the. Yeah, back. look, I've always said, um, you know, when we looked at our run, how many home games we finished the season with that. It's um, in our hands, um, and you know we haven't had the best record at home this year. I think our away record is a little bit better than our home record, so um, so that's why it's even more pleasing tonight to get the three points because we've you know dropped quite a few points at home this year. So um, it's something that we need to you know show that spirit that we did again tonight um, for those last three games at home. So who, who's going to come back? Yeah, so we got a few coming back um, out of. Um, out of COVID, so Ryan Kiddo, um, Bernardo and George Blackwood, they're all back available for the game. Um, whether Yako is is back as well, we're not sure yet. We'll wait and see how he pulls up. Um, but yeah, yeah, and then um, after the Easter breaks, we, you know, after the Sydney game, we've got a, bi uh, a big break, which will allow us to freshen our, our players up and have a really um, crack at the, you know, the top four in, in the last three games. Obviously, depth at centre back in the test of the last few weeks. Was there anything wrong with George tonight, George Simmons? Or just oh yeah, look, it was he had a, a personal thing that he needed to attend to. So um, you know, he, you know, we wish him all the best, and hopefully, you know, it all went well. Sure. And in regards to it's Alex coming straight back in, obviously uh, another good performance defensively. But for me, he's very impressed going forward, confidence to carry the ball forward. I, mean, I know there was a couple of times when they uh, maybe told me a pass could have been somewhere else but for such a young lad a couple of games under his belt to have that confidence to come forward there's a little dink over yeah. the top to Craig in the first half and he's diagonal balls were you pretty happy with his performance yeah I, I, say, I, um, I suppose I'm fortunate that I've known Alex and coached Alex for a long time so I know what his strengths are um, and I have great belief in him that's why he's here playing um, and he you know he's shown t again tonight you know um, I don't know whether it's coincidence or not, but you know we've had two clean sheets when he's played at the back. Um, he is a out and out first of all defender. That's his great strength. He knows how to defend and and he puts himself on the line. And he also has good composure on the ball. Um, so he's got a long way to go. And um, you know we I believe he can take the, you know go a long way in, in this game. Yeah, that's that's correct. Um, he was still weighing up whether he's going to have surgery or not. If he has surgery, he's gone for the whole season. But if he doesn't have surgery, it's still six to eight weeks. Um, so it's you know quite a, a bad injury. Um, so we're just um, you know he'll 
maybe have another chat with the surgeon. The surgeon, it's recommended surgery. Um, it's just a matter of whether we go down that path or not. So that's you know something for, that Mo has to work out, and it's also you know there's no secrets. You know Mo's moving on next next year, so I'm sure his club that he's moving to would want to have a, a say in that as well. Did the refs get back to you? Yeah, I have a meeting this week coming up um, with them. So, um, you know, as I said, you know, I thought last week when I, sp I spoke to the referee at half time about the, the Mo incident and he laughed at me, which I found a little bit disrespectful last week. But, you know, they want us to respect them, but I think it goes both ways. Um, and, you know, I still, when I still look at that video, I still can't believe um, how, how it happened and they didn't do anything about it. There was a period around the hour mark, I think, um, Craig and Josh, there was probably three or four times when they were linking up and combining crosses into the block. Is that, that deliberate using that side or is it just the way the match was Yeah, we out? wanted to attack more that side. That was the side that Davila was defending on. So we wanted him to work a lot harder because um, when he's having to chase back and do that work, he um, doesn't have the freshness to um, hurt you when he goes forward because, he, you know, he's such a quality player when he has the ball and he's running at people. So we wanted to make sure that we attack down his side more than the other side um, to try and tire him out and take him into e deeper areas than having him floating in that sort of half space where he normally does. Have you asked the hero if he's got any plans for um, the next few months after a bit of a break for next year? Um, yeah, look, hero, you know, there's a good chance, um, you know, he, he'll stay with us next year. Um, you know, I think he's been tremendous. Um, for us and you know he's a great guy in the change room as well which is very critical for us the way that we want you know we want to have good guys in the change room um, he is certainly a, a, a top guy and you know you, you see the way he plays and brings players into the game he's a quality player